guys, it's Natasha, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to do a autumnal makeup look for you guys. Um, my mum actually picked out all my makeup today. She went into my little drawer I have and picked out everything. Um, so yeah, she wants, I asked her what I should do today, so she, so she said like an autumn, autumnal look. So she's picked everything out for me. Um, so yeah, she's done a very good job, picked out everything I like. Um, so yeah, we'll just get started. We'll start with primer. Um, it's just the Revlon Photo Ready Primer and Anti Shine, the one I always use on my channel. So I'm actually not in my normal filming spot today. It takes a lot of effort to film in my normal spot because I have to turn my whole desk around, then I have to put my drawers out and do everything. So yeah, so I'm just actually in my kitchen because everybody is out. So it's just me. So I thought, why not? So I'm going to take some on my finger and then massage that in nicely. This one's really nice. I actually put a little bit extra in my smile lines because I find that it doesn't actually like crease up. A little bit on the nosy. Zoom me out a little bit. Okay, that's a bit better. Okay. It's all done. Okay, so Mum picked nice warm colours today. So we're going to go with the Revlon Nearly Naked. Makeup 120 vanilla. You can see that it's just a little bit on the warm side, but it would if I can open it. Okay, I do apologize. I'm on my pajamas today. I did go out this morning, but I'm gonna just put it on, pour it on because it is a that is a bit darker than my normal um, foundation. We're not gonna take too much, so obviously, it is a bit darker, but once I um like work it in it's actually pretty good okay concealer um i'm just using the revolution conceal and define in c1 i'm not going to take too much this isn't going to be probably going to be like medium coverage well my medium coverage <laughs> My sponge, it's just a normal Chi Chi one, getting from Farmers. Super cheap. I need to get a new one because this is filthy. But, um, yeah, I'll get around to the next week or something. Um, I don't have a translucent powder, but I have this Revlon White Medium Loose powder. I'll set my face with shortly, but um. That is not light medium. Look how dark. I don't know if you can see that. That is not light medium. But I will. We'll work with it. That's what was in my box. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that. And just set the eyes with it. It's not too bad actually. It's going to be way too dark for my face, but. Not too bad if I just put a little bit on. We'll make it work. I'm not a big fan of loose powders just because I find them really messy. They go everywhere they go. Okay. I should have time. So my lovely mummy has chosen the Makeup Revolution Iconic Reloaded Iconic Division palette. It's the green one I use it in my green glam tutorial. Go check that out if you haven't. So it looks like this. You can see that. Um, autumnal. Okay, we're going to start by going in with that yellow shade there. What can we call it? School bus. It reminds me of a school bus. We're going to name this palette, name the colours. So we're going to go in with school bus. Start on the outer corner there and just 
windshield wiper motions back and forth, back and forth. I didn't take that much of it, so. That's better. I'm not going to take too much. I don't want it too, like, yellowy. I'm just going to take my um, Mecca blending brush. Any blending brush you have is fine. So it's not too pigmented, but it's fine. I'm just going to do the other eye. Okay, that is on. Now we're going to go in with the orange one next to school bus now these are not the names of the the colors because i don't have names but i'm naming it so i'm gonna this first one i named school bus the orange one next to it we're gonna call under the sea creative i don't know why under the sea it kind of reminded me of nemo but then it wasn't orange enough to be nemo so i'm like we'll go with under the sea take that oh, i didn't tell you what brush i was taking i just took that on the la girl I think it's a domed brush, it's one I always, always use. So it's picked up under the sea. And kind of taking it in the same place as school bus, just a little bit lower. Gonna do my other eye. What should we do now? I'm kind of stumped. I don't know what to do. Let me have a think. We're going to take, what should we call it, coral. So it's, I don't know if you can see that it's like that one. I hope you can see that. I'm going to call it coral. Coral. The same brush. I have no idea with what type of look it's going to end up, but kind of just placing it all over. This is just a, one of those random looks. It's okay. I think I know what I'm going to go for now. Blend that in with your blending brush. You don't have, if you don't want to put that coral down, you don't have to. You don't really need it. I was just like, mm, I like it, so we're going to put it on. What we're going to do now is actually take, this is a bit of like a wish washy because I don't know exactly what it's going to do. We're going to take a bit of school bus and under the sea. I should name palettes, like this should be my job, I'd be really good at it. And we're just going to take it just to kind of, now I know what I'm doing, I'm just going to brighten up that crease there. Just windshield wiper motions back and forth, back and forth, just really take your time. Taking a bit more school bus by itself. That's the yellow one down the bottom. Let's do the other eye. Now we're going to take, go up to the top and hold this up. It is that one there. What are we going to call that one? Dazzle. Dazzle. Now we're just going to take a flat brush, this is just like an e.l.f. one, load that up, it just looks good. Now I'm just, you can take setting spray if you want, I don't have any. Um, so this is, um, I just put it in a little container, it's Meron, Meron Mixing Liquid. Um, I'm just going to, one spray is all you need, it's basically what you use to, um, if you're doing like special effects or um, avant-garde like drip work you mix it with your pigments I'll do a tutorial one day on drip work because um, it's really fun to do now I'm just gonna take the eyeshadow and I'm gonna place it all over the lid so kind of like a cut crease Now, 
I'm going to take a bit of that Revlon loose powder. We'll see how that works. Oh, excuse me, I get the hiccups. Um, I'm just going to take my Revlon, so the Revlon brush. It's really cute and short. It's a good travel size one. And I'm just going to dip it in and then just tap off the excess because you get a lot. And I am, oh, that is dark. Um, see if we can make this work. Dip it under the eye. It's a bit too dark, but it's okay. You're going to see I only need like the smallest amount. On the forehead. Ooh. I find it funny that they call this light medium when it's dark. This is like tan. I'd like to see what dark is to them. I'm just going to go get some setting spray and spray it. Spray my face because it's a bit powdery. I'll be back. Oh no, memento. I is back. I just got the Rimmel one. That looked like a lot because it was a lot. Yeah. Mm, so nice. I find if your face is looking really powdery, to set it um, with some setting spray or even just some water in a spray bottle, that's really nice. This kind of helps. Absorb that powder. I'm just going to let that sit for a few minutes and then we are going to contour. Contour. Oof. I'm making a mess. That powder, that's why I don't like loose powder. This just goes everywhere. Too tidy as I go. Okay, this should be enough. Okay, for contour, we're just taking my mum chose the Revlon Sculpt and Highlight Contour Kit in light medium, looks like that. And I'm gonna take that one there. Should we name it? It's just gonna, it's got Sculpt, Contour, and Define. We're gonna call it Fred. I don't know why I call everything. Okay. We don't want too much because we are a bit more tan than I normally am. But it's okay. Taking a little bit on my RT splash brush. So the last video I posted, well, not the last video, but the video before that, my nails and amputee story i just want to say thank you so much for all the views i've had i think i've had like 2500 views which to me is so much so i just want to say thank you for your support and everybody's views it means a lot um i didn't even mean to make an amputee story um i just did my nail video because like i said in the video i get a lot of people asking me how i do it and they just assume that i get them done so I just thought why not just show you and hopefully someone out there who has got a disability like me that can help them a little bit, you know. Um, I'm just going to take a little bit of my forehead. Um, and then I started talking about what, it, what my disability is called and then yeah, I just started, because I was going to do it anyway so I thought why, is, why not just do it then, you know. If I'm looking behind you it's because I'm sitting in our island right now. I'll give you a bit of a kitchen tour in a minute afterwards. Um, and we've got a massive splashback mirror. Um, which is really good for filming. So it's really like annoying like if you're sitting and eating breakfast you just look at yourself eating. <laughs> okay, I think we're done. I'm not going to wear blush because as you'll probably notice I don't wear blush because I naturally blush. So yeah, I'm just going to take a bit more of that Rimmel setting spray and just kind of set that. I always set my face 
just spray it with water or setting spray like I said before before I do my highlight so my lovely mummy has chosen the Revlon Peach Glow palette it looks like that's very nice I love it I love it when I want just like a subtle glow which is not very me but you know I do like a subtle glow now again I don't know if that's picking up on camera, but it is quite nice. It's very subtle. I'm just going to take me... What brush am I going to take? If I can find it. Wipe. Um, my Revlon eyeliner brush looks like that. Any eyeliner brush. Or even if you don't have an eyeliner brush, just use like a little smudge brush. Or even like a Q-tip you could use if you don't have any. Um... We are going to attack under the sea. Reminds me of um the Little Mermaid. I love the Little Mermaid. I love all Disney movies. I grew up on Disney, so. darken that up a little bit I'm actually going to take a little bit of the brown one it's just oh, that one there what are we going to name it we'll name that chocolate chocolate I think that's how you say chocolate in Dutch I'm not too sure chocolate just to warm it up a little bit You can leave it just with the under the sea if you like. I really wish they'd name all eyeshadow colours because then like when you film it's a lot easier to say I'm going to take this one or number one, number two you know. Okay. I'm just going to take my smudge brush. It's just an artiste one and just lightly brush it out. I don't need too much. Okay. Looking pretty good. I'm just going to take my mascara. It's just my normal Revlon Ultimate All One, the one with the blue lid. Um, my mum chose this really nice Revlon Ultra HD matte lip colour. It is in 690 HD Gleam. It's really nice. She got it. She bought this twin pack um, from Farmers and um, with two Revlon lip, um, lipsticks like this. And she didn't like this one. It was too... Well, she liked it, but it was too pale on her. So she gave it to me. <gasps> I'm not complaining. I'm just going to take the setting spray. It's really nice and cooling as well. Look how I spoiled it. Because oh. I'm really hot. Um, so it's nice and cooling. I'll wear it like before I go to bed if it's a really hot night. I'll just spray some on or just get some water. You can get these little containers um, from Kmart. They're, it's like $3. You get two. Um, and I just put water on them and then I just spray my face and it cools me down. So that is the makeup for today. Hope you 
guys like it, she didn't want to pose. That is it for today guys, I hope you like it and stay tuned and see what comes for next time. Bye guys!